Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'm starting a two-part series where I'm going to make a backpack. So I've drawn this backpack in Illustrator, which is my reference for what I want to make. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, it's just a very basic backpack with a small pouch in on the front and a zipper in the middle of the bag and uh, two small pockets on the side. So this is what I'm going to uh, try to aim at and uh, today I'm going to make a pattern um, which I can print and use as a template for cutting the fabric. Uh, that isn't necessary but it's going to make my life so much easier. So let's head into Illustrator and I'll show you how I create this pattern. So I'll start by creating a new file. And I have this custom file 130 by 130 centimeters. So I'm just gonna create. And the first thing I want to do is create a rectangle to create the front and the back of my backpack. So I'm just, and then click here in the artboard. And I want the width to be 27 and the height to be 38. Now I'm going to click A to be able to select these anchor points. I'm going to select this top one and I'm going to hit enter. And I'll set the horizontal to minus one and zero and zero. And that will create this tapered edge, which I really like. I'll go ahead and do the same with the left top corner and I'll put one centimeter here instead. Uh, I'll hold it down shift to select both the bottom anchor points and I can come up here and set the radius to 4.5 centimeters. And I'll do the same for the top anchor points and I'll set this radius to about seven centimeters. Yeah. So this is the back and front of my backpack. When printing and cutting this, I want to have a seam allowance. So I'll just select the path and I'll go to object, path, offset path. And I'll offset it by one centimeter. Like that and to mark out what is the seam allowance, I'll make the stroke a bit thicker and I'll go to here to stroke as well and select a line stroke to outside because that's where I'll be cutting. I can use the text tool and I can write front and back. Like that. Oop. that and I can also align these like so and there is the first part which is the front and the back so if we go back to the backpack drawing I made the next thing I want to make is this uh, pouch uh, which is going to have a zipper as well so I'll um, I can use this uh, front I did and uh, kind of measure how big I want the pouch to be. And about 20 by 10 looks kind of good. So I'll just come down here and I'll click and I'll make it 20 by 10. And I don't want it to be filled with black. And I can also change the radius by dragging this down a bit something like that looks good now before i set the seam allowance to this piece i want to add the zipper because this piece will eventually be two pieces so i'll go ahead and change choose the line tool and i'll drag a straight line holding down shift and I can copy and command F to paste it on top of the other. I'll hit enter and I'm going to offset this by 1.9 centimeters because 
That's about the width of the zipper. And then I can select all of these. Go over to my pathfinder, which is right here. And I can choose divide, which will divide all of these. So I can ungroup them. And now I have three individual pieces. And the middle piece, which is the zipper, I'm not going to be needing, so I'll delete that. And now from here I can select both of them and come down to offset path to create the seam allowance. And again, hold down I, like that. So let's name this pocket top. this and we'll call the, this pocket bottom. I'll align this as well. Like so. So let's see, we now have the front and the back, we have the pouch and uh, but we don't have any middle parts. For these so we'll go ahead and go back to the this part and if you come up to document info I have it here and choose objects you can see that it's 118.27 20, centimeters around so the piece that it's going to wrap the whole entire bag needs to be at least that so I'm going to come to my rectangle tool once again and I'll hit there and I'll I'm going to make it 13 centimeters wide but since um, since I'm adding a zipper in the middle of it I'm going to divide this into two parts so I'll make it seven and a half centimeters wide and it was 118 long and I want it to overlap in the bottom so I'm going to make it 120 centimeters long like that. So there's my piece that's going to wrap all around this bag. Uh, now this one needs a offset path as well like that and we'll call this side bag like that and uh, I'll just write times two as well because then I will remember and we're going to make the same for this uh, pocket so I'm going to copy this and this path and I'll move them together like so I'll select them both and I'll go over to Pathfinder and unite and that will give me a measurement of 51.75 centimeters and I can do the same with as with the side bag I click here I want it to be three centimeters and 58 centimeters high like that and we'll go ahead right away and enter the seam allowance as well like so now we can delete this part and we can write pouch side and we'll make that smaller as well and we can group this and move it further here now we have the front, the pocket, and the side of the bag. What else do we need? We need the straps, of course. 
and I'll just copy this piece actually to create the straps. I go to rectangle tool and I'll create a rectangle that is five by five, which I am going to place in the center of this. that and I'll use this for reference to create my straps which are going to be five by 30 I guess so I'll just click here do five wide and 30 long and now I can erase this and I want to make this, I want this to have a padding, so I'm actually going to make it double the width, so I'll unite them as well, and then I can bend in from both sides while sewing, and I'll give it a seam allowance as well. And I'll just write strap. And uh, that should be all the parts done. No, we still haven't made this pocket. So let's make the side pocket as well. It's just a really easy 13 by 13 like so and we'll give that uh, offset path as well and we'll call that side pocket Yeah, and that's about all I need to be able to print uh, the pattern and to create a template from it to cut all the fabric. Uh, so for the next part, we'll be doing the actual bag. Uh, I really hope you like this. Um, if you have any tips or advice, please leave a comment down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.